Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. In this video, we will discuss about histograms in OpenCV. So what is a histogram? So you can consider a histogram as a graph or a plot which gives you an overall idea about the intensity distribution of an image. So let me give you uh, some examples and then I will be able to explain you better how histogram works and why uh, they are useful. So to start with, I have this example, which uh, is a very normal example. Here I'm creating 200 by 200 uh, pixel image using uh, NumPy zeros, which essentially mean that uh, we are going to get a 200 by 200 pixel image of uh, black uh, pixels. So let me uh, just, uh, just start this uh, example and you can see uh, this is the final result so all the pixels here in this image are black and the size is 200 by 200. Now let's say we want to calculate or find out the histogram of this image. So there are several ways of finding out histogram of an image so let's see uh, them one by one. So first of all, we are going to find out the histogram using the matplotlib uh, because uh, the plot using matplotlib you can draw easily. So let's uh, use that first of all. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use plt because I have already imported uh, this matplotlib library as plt. So plt uh, dot hist, there is a function called plt dot hist, which calculates the histogram of an image. And because it's uh, just a grayscale image or it's just a black image, so it's easier to find out uh, the histogram. So you what you uh, can do here is the first argument here will be uh, your image or your uh, source. So I'm going to just say image dot ravel. Okay, so there is a method called uh, ravel. The second argument here will be a maximum number of uh, pixel values. So I'm going to just say 256. The third argument here will be uh, the range. So the range will vary from uh, 0 to 256. Okay, so this is all you need to find out the histogram using the matplotlib. Uh, and uh, you just need to show this plot in a matplotlib window. So you can just say uh, plt dot show. So that's it. So let's uh, run this code and let's see what happens. So you see uh, this plot using matplotlib and also our original uh, image. So as uh, we have created the image of 200 by 200 uh, pixel of black pixels. So all the intensity of uh, this graph you can see is uh, zero. So you can see here 200 multiplied by 200 is equal to uh, 40,000. So these are the number of pixels. So on the y axis you will see total number of pixels and here the intensity. So intensity starts from uh, 0 to 256. So this graph is showing how many number of pixels inside an image which have this uh, pixel values. So in our example, all the pixels inside this image have the pixel value 0. That's why this graph is like this. So all the 40,000 pixels inside the image have the pixel value 0. So you will get this type of uh, histograms. So once again, the histogram is a graph or a plot which gives you the overall idea about the intensity distribution of an image. Now histogram is just another way of understanding the image. By uh, looking at the histogram of an image, you can get the intuition about the contrast, brightness, intensity, distribution, etc. Now let's uh, improve this example which we have. So I'm going to just close uh, this uh, window 
and let's say I want to add some uh, white pixel also inside this image. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to just CV2 dot uh, rectangle. So I'm going to just add the rectangle inside uh, this image and the source here will be uh, the IMG variable then uh, where I want to introduce this rectangle. So I want to introduce this rectangle at uh, this point which will be let's say which starts from uh, 0 comma 100 and the second point here will be let's say 200 comma 200 okay so this will be uh, 200 and the next value here will be uh, the color so let's say we want to add the white pixels so this will be 255 which will be the maximum value and then the next argument will be the thickness so I'm going to just say minus 1 which will fill this rectangle inside this uh, image so when I run uh, now this uh, code you will see uh, this graph and this image so you can see half of this image contains black pixels and half of this image contains the white pixels and we already know that the size of this image is 200 by 200 that's why uh, here in the graph you will see 20,000 pixels are uh, black which means that uh, 20,000 pixels have the pixel value 0 and 20,000 pixels have the pixel value 255 that's why you see uh, this here. So you can see you can easily find out the pixel intensity of an image easily using histograms. Now next we are going to add some more pixels into this image and this time what we are going to do is we are going to add the rectangle inside the same image. So let's say it goes from uh, 0, 50 to 100, 100 and the color here we are going to uh, provide the pixel value of 127 let's say okay so which is the half of uh, 0 and uh, 255 uh, approximately so I'm going to run this uh, uh, example once again and now you will see uh, this kind of image so you can see half of the pixels here are white that means 20,000 pixels have the pixel value of 255 so you can see here now around 15,000 pixels here in the half of this image have the pixel value of 0 that's why you can see uh, this line here and we have added uh, the rectangle of uh, pixel value 127 also so around you can see around 5,000 uh, pixels here have the pixel value of 127. So this is how uh, the histogram is going to uh, work. So let's use now the original image. So some kind of uh, image instead of uh, this black or white image. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just once again uh, declare a variable and then I'm going to just say cv2 dot uh, I am read and uh, we are going to read some files so let's say i have this lena.jpg uh, image so i'm going to just uh, uh, read that i hope the extension is uh, correct jpg uh, and we are going to read this image in the grayscale mode so i'm going to just say zero here and now i'm going to run uh, this uh, example once again and you can see this Lena image is uh, loaded in the grayscale mode and here is the histogram of this image so these are all the pixel intensities inside uh, this image so you can see from uh, this uh, graph that most number of uh, pixels contained inside this image have the pixel value around uh, 150 now you can also find out the pixel intensity of uh, different colors so till now we have been uh, just using uh, the grayscale mode or black or white uh, pixels but you can also uh, use the same histogram for the BGR values also 
So let's see how we can do that. So what we are going to do is let me uh, just remove uh, this code or I'm going to just leave it commented and here I'm going to just say b comma g comma r and there is a method we have already seen which is called cv dot split which is going to split your uh, image into bgr values so we are going to just uh, give the source which is our image and then if you want to uh, show these bgr uh, values you can uh, just show in uh, the i'm show window so bgr and here also b g and r and when you want to uh, show the histogram of uh, bgr values then also you can use uh, matplotlib.hist uh, method you just need to change this uh, source from image to uh, bgr so b uh, g and r okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to run our code and let's see what happens so it's giving me uh, this error because i'm reading this image in the grayscale mode so i'm going to uh, remove this extra parameter from i am read because we want to read uh, this uh, image in the color form and then only we will be able to get the bgr uh, channels right in the grayscale mode there are no bgr channels so i'm going to run this uh, script once again and let's see what happens so you can uh, see uh, this histogram of blue channels and green channels and the red channels and these are the images which are loaded in these different uh, channels so this is the Im image which is loaded in the, in the blue channel and this is the green and this is the red channel and you can see uh, the histogram of each channel differently using uh, matplotlib so let me uh, just uh, close all these windows now there is a method in cv2 also which is called calc hist which is going to give you the histogram of an image so for uh, that what you can do is i'm going to uh, just just uh, comment all uh, the this code because i just want to show how you can use the cv2 uh, calc hist uh, method okay so what you can do is you can use a method so let's say hist and then cv dot calc hist and this method takes few arguments so the first argument here will be the image so it's the source which you give but the only special thing is you just give uh, this image in the square brackets okay the second argument here is the channel so it is the index of channels for which we calculate the histogram so here in our case because we are going to uh, read the image in grayscale mode we can uh, just uh, give the channel zero here so for one channel you can give a zero here for different channel you can give a zero one two uh, value the next argument here is the image mask so to uh, find histogram of full image it is given as a uh, none because our uh, because our image is loaded in the grayscale mode so we can give here none the next value is the hist size so this hist size is the representation of bin counts and this is also given in the square bracket so we are going to just say 256 here the next argument is the range so range will uh, vary from 0 to 256 so minimum and the maximum ra range of uh, the x-axis you can say so 256 and then we can just show this uh, hist or histogram inside the plt so plt.plot method so dot plot and then we can just uh, give this uh, 
histogram value here okay so let's run this code and let's see what happens so you can see you get the histogram of uh, this image using the OpenCV calc hist method and what are the uses of uh, the histogram so a histogram can tell you whether or not your image has been properly exposed so when you take a digital image uh, it's very useful it, it can also tell you whether the lighting conditions were flat or harsh when you took that image and using the histogram you can also make the adjustments uh, which will work best for your uh, digital images so this uh, the usefulness of the histograms we will see in the later videos this was just the basics about the histograms uh, in OpenCV so I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video